Hi guys, Steve Blankert here again. I'm back at the range and I've got something new to show you. Um, this is perhaps one of the most iconic of all Derringers from the Old West days. This is a Remington Double Derringer. Uh, very famous, uh, probably mostly because of TV westerns and old western movies they were, they were shown so much. But these were very popular. You know, you know, Derringers were actually, kind of the name came from Henry Derringer, who uh, in the 1850s, early 1860s, made little tiny pocket muzzle-loading pistols and became most famous because that's what was used to ass assassinate President Lincoln. Well, Remington came out with this design, this double Derringer, in 1866, and it shoots a 41 rimfire short cartridge. Now, this was a very, very popular handgun because it was concealed well. It took very little space in the pocket, had two shots. And the 41 rimfire is surprisingly powerful at close range, contrary to what you may read on the Internet. Uh, it, properly loaded with its original load with 10 to 12 grains of 3F black powder was pretty effective at close range. Now, this was a very, very popular handgun. Uh, Remington made these from 1866 all the way up to 1935. So, you know, they wouldn't have been making them if they weren't very, very popular. And um, this is uh, what I believe is a fourth model, second variation, probably made um, after 1924. So it's one of the later ones built. It's got a little bit better steel, has a little bit re and more of a reinforced hinge on it. Um, and it's in really nice shape. So um, I brought it out to the range today. I've, I've already chronographed this. I'm not going to chronograph today, but uh, this load shoots around 5, 535 feet per second out of my Colt Derringer. But I just thought we'd go ahead and take a couple shots. So what I've got here is original type copper rimfire cartridges. These are actually Navy Arms, ones that Navy Arms made in the 80s and 90s, and I've reloaded them. I've re-cleaned them out, reprimed the rims, reloaded them. These have... Um, Let's see, these have uh, 12 grains of 3F uh, Old Ainsford powder in them. So it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty powerful little load. Now these have been fired uh, twice before or by, as evidenced by two dings on the rim already, if you can see that. So I just have to be careful that I place these into the, in the chambers that I orient it so the, the firing pin will hit a, a, an open area. So um, let's see how it goes. So... Yeah, I've been playing cards here with Black Bart, and um, I do believe he's been cheating a little bit. So, I think we're, I, I'm seeing a, a showdown coming with old Black Bart here. So, I'm going to load these in here, being prepared. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and put my shooting glasses on and my ear in protection all right here we go <clears throat> that's a pretty powerful little handgun so let's uh let's take a look at black bard here I think I did him in, but uh, as I think you can see, I got one right at the bottom of the heart and one just above the heart in the chest. So, uh, yeah, pretty effective. So I think Black Bart is done for. So anyway, this is fun. Just fun taking out these, uh, these old pieces of history and exercising them a little bit. Um, you know, there are uh, reloadable rimfire cart uh, cartridges available, and I do have some of those. Um, and they use a 22 blank as a primer and you can reload them over and over again. I made one myself on the lathe and I bought some from France. Uh, There's an outfit in France that sells them and uh, Roberson Cartridge Company also makes them. So if you've got one of these old derringers laying around, there's no reason you can't get out and enjoy it safely. Make sure it's in safe and good condition. Only load it with black powder and or, you know, I would avoid using smokeless in any of these kind of these things. But uh, original black powder loads, that's what they're made for and they shoot really good. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. See you later.